This tutorial is an introduction to step patterns. If we look at the quadratic relation y equals x squared, we could use a table of values such as the one below to plot the points and graph the parabola. If we started with x equals negative 3 and plugged that value in up here for x, our y is going to equal negative 3 squared, which is positive 9. If we plugged in negative 2 for x, our y value is negative 2 squared, which is positive 4. And if we put in negative 1 for x, we have negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. 0 squared is, of course, 0. If we put 1 in for x, we have 1 squared, which is 1 times 1, give us 1. When x equals 2, y is going to equal 2 squared, which is 4. And when x equals 3, y equals 3 squared, which is 9. If we were to plot these points, we're going to start by looking at our x-axis. That's the horizontal one right there. So when x equals negative 3, y equals 9. So we're going to go along the x to the negative 3, and we're going to go up along the y-axis to the 9. For negative 2, 4, we're going to go along the x-axis, negative 2, and up 4. Point negative 1 is going to be negative 1, 1. And we have our origin, the point 0, 0. When x equals 1, y equals 1. When x equals 2, y equals 4. And when x equals 3, y equals 9. So if I now connect these points, we will have a lovely parabola for the relation y equals x squared. I'm going to label that y equals x squared. If I'm looking at the step pattern for this relation, I'm going to start at the vertex, which in this case is 0, 0. And I'm going to go over 1 and count how many I have to go up. So in this case, I'm going over 1, up 1. And if I start from there, I'm going over 1, up 1, 2, 3, so over 1, up 3. If I go over 1 again, I'm going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is what we call the step pattern. 1, 3, 5. As you might guess, if we were to continue on, we would go over 1, up 7, over 1, up 9, etc. So 1, 3, 5 is all we need. If we were to look at an equation such as y equals ax squared, our a is just a constant value in front of the x squared. To find the step pattern, when given an a value in front of the x squared, all we have to do is multiply that original 1, 3, 5 by our a value. So for example, let's look at the relation y equals 2x squared. The step pattern for y equals x squared is 1, 3, 5. And we're now going to multiply each one of those values by our a, which in this case is 2. So we're going to multiply each one of those by 2 to find our new step pattern of 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 2 is 10. This is our new step pattern, 2, 6, 10. So how do we graph that? Well, let's start at the vertex, 
zero, zero. Last time we went over one, up one. This time we're going to go over one, up two. Over one, up six. And over one, up ten, which is off our graph. Going the other way, over one, up two. Over one, up six. And again, it would be over one, up ten. Okay, so if we connect these, we can see our parabola has gotten skinnier, which means it has been stretched by a factor of two. And if we were to draw the step pattern on here, it would look like this. Two, six, and our next one would have been ten. So it would have been way up there. Okay, so the new step pattern is 2, 6, 10. So using the step pattern is a lot easier than having to fill out a table of values. Let's try one more example. Let's look at y equals 0 0.5 x squared. Our a value is the constant in front of the x squared. So our a value is 0 0.5. If you recall, the step pattern for y equals x squared is 1, 3, 5. And since we have an a value, we're going to need to multiply each one of the steps by a. So we're going to multiply each one by 0 0.5. Our new step pattern then, 1 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. 3 times 0 0.5 is 1.5 and 5 times 0 0.5 is 2.5. So here's our new step pattern for the relation y equals 0 0.5x squared. Again we're starting at the origin, there's our vertex. Instead of going over 1, up 1, we're now going over 1, up 0 0.5 over 1, up 1.5, and over 1, up 2.5. Same thing the other direction. Over 1, up 0 0.5, over 1, up 1.5, and over 1, up 2.5. If I connect these points, I am going to have a wider parabola, and we call that compressed. Okay, so this is just a basic introduction to step patterns using the relations y equals ax squared. Um, this will help you a lot as you get into the vertex form of quadratic equations, um, making it really simple to graph them just by giving the equation. So tune in for more tutorials if you would like to further your knowledge 